Tell me if this is funny. <laughs> is it possible that... No. no? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do better. Just keep watching. <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> So if you want to be happy, 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 happy. We all want to be happy. Slap happy. You want to be slap happy? I want to be slap happy. You know, you feel like you've been slapped. Oh, is that what that means? I don't know. I don't either. I'm just making it up. But it does sound a little bit like laughter. Uh, we talk about laughter a lot. Laughter is key to happiness. It really is. Because when you're laughing, okay, mm -hmm. what's happening is that laughter helps the blood flow, right? Blood flow helps oxygen get to your brain yes. faster and better, and it releases certain endorphins, or happy chemicals as they're called, happy throughout chemicals. your body. And so people will say, well, now how do I laugh? What can I do to, to laugh? Now, in another episode, we've talked about things like going online and looking mm -hmm. at YouTube and seeing funny stuff and mm -hmm. watching Jeff's old comedy videos or Saturday Night Live. Shameless plug there, don't worry about funny it. Funny Till You Die or whatever. Every, there's a lot of great resources. And what I find, by the way, quite uh, enlightening, amusing, and uh, refreshing is that in a world, in a world, in a world that is overrun by porn and all the other junk that's out there, the dark web or whatever, yeah. the vast majority of people are actually searching for and viewing comedy videos. Yeah. The ones that get the most shares, the most mm -hmm. views, the most traffic are the ones that are funny because humor and laughter is a universally human thing. We all feel it, we all get it, and even though the depraved side of life is also quite human and quite relatable, it's something that we don't necessarily all want to share together. Yeah. It's a private thing. That, yes. Let's just keep it that way. So yes. it's fun to see, like, the, for example, the advertisers mm -hmm. who, you know, a few decades ago would basically focus their efforts on titillation and on kind of sexy stuff yeah. and remember the whole subliminal messaging yeah. and trying to work the word sex into an mm -hmm. ad or whatever. It wasn't long till they realized that laughter had more immediate impact on people and it helped them remember longer the product that was being advertised. Hmm. Yeah. I, think I love about, that. Yeah, the funny ads. The, you know, it's like the Super Bowl. Look at the Super Bowl now. Right. How many funny ads are in the Super Bowl? Almost all of them. Almost every single yeah, one of them is funny. Because they know that humor and laughter sells. It could be a funny little story, a little quip. Sometimes it's just a funny sound, right? Like, a, like, like you, you, Jeff does some funny sounds. You know, years ago, he and I did a morning radio show. And we used to have a little segment on once a week or so called The Wonderful World of Jeff's Larynx. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that was exactly what the title was. I think it was. Was that the title? The Wonderful World of Jeff's Larynx. And so we would do So people things. would call in and they go, can you imitate something? And now remind you, this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you doing, this is very dated because this technology is no longer in use anywhere. <laughs> but when we were doing radio, this, this was one of the sounds that Jeff would make. And it was a dot matrix printer. Oh, I, I, can you remember? Do you, you put it on the, put me on the spot well, here. Well, you, 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 you know I was going to. Well, <laughs> that's like a that's like an know. analog modem. Uh, yeah, <coughs> I think it was more like. <coughs> what was it more like? I don't know. He could do it then. I yeah. just I put you on the spot on that. I know. I thought you were gonna do like a eighteen wheeler horn or something. And that's a good one. Let's let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> the facial action, you got to get that in there. <laughs> now, here's my favorite one. Here's my favorite one is. Wait, wait, before you. Yeah, you before you. No, I don't. But before you move on, that face reminds me of, of a good laugh. So, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> so one time we were in the airport and I, I think I mentioned this to Jeff I said some of the funniest faces you will ever see are people that are coming off of a plane so they've just flown from some other place on the planet 
maybe a different culture, definitely a different airport, possibly a different language. They're tired, they're worn out, and they know they have to make a connection. And if you just sit, because a lot of people that are waiting to get on the plane that just arrives, they, we always watch the people parade past. It, it's almost, it makes you a little self-conscious when yeah. you get off, yeah. you know? Because it's like, and now presenting, Scott Christopher! Hey! You know, and you're, yeah. How you doing? Nice to see you. Just flew in from yeah. Seattle. Good yeah. to be here. But um, this is the look that, and we can do this at the same time, right? As people yeah. come off, they're, 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 they're disoriented. They don't know where they are. And, and they're not mindful of how they look because they look really stupid. They look yeah. like this. The mouth is always open. The face is yeah. in this contorted, especially when they're when they're looking for their they're next connection that, or where's baggage claim and it's monitor. an eighty-eight-year-old guy. You know, the mouth is wide open. Mm-hmm. And so Jeff and, and the I funny, think, the funny thing though is sometimes they're just standing in the middle of the airport. Right. They haven't even gotten off a flight. They're just standing there. It's like one of those funny time lapse commercials where people are whizzing by yeah. and no one and the other person's not moving as they just look up. Where? Do I connect for Tuscaloosa? Yay. Oh, I guess you had to be there. Well, it's, it's not like we have a live audience. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, all right, what else did we have you doing? So we got a squirrel getting hit by a car, oh. right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you have to really listen closely. Here's something I don't know to what hear it is. That one. I have no idea what it is. I have yet to name it. So maybe in the it's, comment section you can name that and we'll have a contest. It's, it's when somebody opens an emergency exit in a warehouse yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a nuclear uh, something or other. So what are we talking about? So we're t- what were we talking about? Uh, just laughter. Oh, just, being, just yes. doing, doing funny Laugh. stuff. It's not all about just going and watching videos on YouTube. Make up your own laughter. Do your own funny so stuff. Here's, I, yeah. So here, here's, this is what I wanted to share with you guys now that I'm done laughing. If you don't have a Jeff around, if you don't have an internet connection, how in the world are you watching us? A. B. You're an idiot. C. <laughs> Do this sometimes. Just do this for fun. If you're driving, you're somewhere and you don't feel good, not happy, or you're trying to get up for a meeting or something positive, smile. I mean, it sounds stupid, but if... Literally, the action of smiling, when the muscles start moving, the brain knows that this could turn into a laugh. So even just smiling and just talking while you're smiling and just even if life sucks and you're having a hard time but if you smile the crinkles start to form around your eyes yeah. and the dimples in your face and you just start now but here's what really gets you going is if you start laughing yeah <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking in a mirror at yourself and you're alone and you're doing these cheesy smiles and you start doing a fake laugh you will eventually actually start laughing. Yeah. Now, as a public speaker, I do this occasionally because I talk about levity at work and laughter in the workplace. And I will do this in a room filled with an audience. And when they all do it together, it, the laughter comes naturally mm. within five seconds yeah. because everyone looks around at each other and they start laughing and then they're legitimately laughing. And then that fake laughter that they've manufactured turns into real laughter. You can make mm. yourself happy so to speak, because laughter drives happiness. Those happy chemicals are flowing. And you know, there's a bunch of weirdos out there that do, you know, like laughter therapy classes, laughter yoga. I've seen guys on the internet, you'll find them, they'll make you laugh because they literally go, okay, now let's do this one. Ha 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 and, and it makes you really laugh because it's just so bloody stupid. It's stupid. So even if you don't have a Jeff out there, or any other stimuli ah. that will make you laugh. Or triggers. <laughs> right, Nate said triggers. <laughs> Hi, Nate. <laughs> Nate was our hero. Stimuli, I just wanted to get to the yeah. word stimuli. Stimuli. You still can make yourself laugh and smile and thus make yourself yeah. happy, the huh. end. Huh. You probably know somebody that really makes you laugh or a book or a movie or a, you know, just a standby that gets you laughing. Share it with us in the comments. Yeah. Let us know what makes you laugh 
and uh, or you've seen others makes other people laugh. Yeah. We'd like to know. I'd love to hear it. And uh, hey, thanks for joining us. And if you get a second, make sure you subscribe and or like and or both. Ooh. And we will see you next time. Adios. Ciao, ciao. Bye.